Welcome to another video. I couldn't resist solving this equation because it brought back memories of my high school days and this is just beautiful because there's only one question you have to ask yourself. In what base am I working? Because there's a temptation for you to just dance around and make things more complicated. Actually, you can know the answer by just looking and guessing. Mm-hmm. But let's assume you don't have the talent of guessing, just like I do not have a talent for guessing. I just work things through. What should you do? Well, all you have to do is pay attention to the base you're supposed to use. Should I use natural log or base 10? There's a base already sitting there. It's not there for fun. Let's get into it. Remember, the first thing you do when you solve any logarithmic equation is to bring down every exponent, okay? You want to make everything sit on the line. So I'm going to try and bring down this exponent by introducing a log function. But the base I'm going to choose would be base x because it would make my life a lot easier. So what I'm going to do is um, take the na log, not natural log, just the log base x of the left-hand side which is x to the 1 plus log base x of 16. And I'll do the same thing to this side, which is going to be base x also, 4x squared. Nice. How does this help me? Well, I already see the solution to this because now I can bring down the exponent to this side. So what I'm going to have is 1 plus the log base x of 16 will now be multiplying. This is just what is left, log x base x. And on this side, what I have is, um, is just this. But remember that law of logarithm that says, whenever you have a product, you can split it, right? So I see log base x of four plus log base x of x squared. Let's move here. Okay, it's looking interesting. But we know that log base x, x is just one. So I'm going, what I have left, okay, let's write it here. This is times one. What I have here is one plus log base x of 16, multiplying one. And on this side, what do I have? Well, this is gonna come down here. So what I have is, log base x of 4 plus this is 2 log x base x log x base x is just 1 so I can have on the left hand side 1 plus log to base x of 16 will be equal to log of 4 base x and here is just going to be 2 times 1 which is just plus 2 So this looks like this, right? So I can move this one over and bring this guy here so that this becomes log 16 base x minus log 4 base x will be equal to this one goes over, it becomes two minus one. By the laws of logarithms, remember when you have a subtraction, you can just do a division. So I'm gonna do log base x of 16 divided by 4 will be equal to 1. What is 16 divided by 4? It's 4. So log base x, what is this? This is just 4, is equal to 1. And by the definition of logarithms, the logarithm of a number to a base is 1 implies that you must raise the base to 1 power to get the number. That's the definition of logarithms. And if I just use that definition here, this implies that four is x to the first power. x to the first power is equal to four, which means x equals four. 
I know this is easy, okay, but I just missed it. Never stop learning. Pills will stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.